So I'm just going to kind of skip this investigation and I'm going to go right down to here and I'm going to talk about the, uh, the laws, okay? Now, first of all, um, the product law, okay? We talked about that yesterday. That means if I have log B M times N, that is the same thing of log B of M plus log B of N. Right? That's what I just did on the last question of the bonus. For example, log 5 of 200. Now, what's B? It's 10, isn't it? You know what? I write them in there. I actually write them in there when I'm doing this all the time because then I, it keeps reminding me that's that first level. But do you see that log 500, like this was log 1,000. Right, 5 times 200, they split that up into log 5 times 200, which is the same thing as log 10 of 5 plus. Right, so we have to make sure that we're not putting a time sign there, but we're putting a plus sign. Now when you want to have m divided by n, we're going to have, so this is a division, turns into a subtraction of the two logs. So... Uh, and, the, and then the examples. And then the next one, I have taught you yesterday, but my rule is a bit more specific. But whenever you have the third level, any time, it can come down. Now, today, we're saying, well, if we have log 2 of 2 to the 5, that equals 5 log 2 of 2, right? You guys remember that? because I said the third level can come down. Now what is log 2 of 2? Two? 1. So this will just be 5 times 1, which equals 5. But what if you had log 2, 3 to the 5? The 5 can still come to the front. You just can't do log 2 of 3 in your head. Okay? It doesn't mean I can't move the third level. Okay, so you can always move that third level to the front. So none of these are new. I taught you all these yesterday. We're just going to be working with them specifically today. Okay? And believe it or not, these are the last of the rules. You know them all now. But if you miss one of them, it gets to be frustrating. It's, uh, every time I look at the diploma, I always say, oh, if they know that one rule, it's going to get them started and they're going to see it. Right? If you don't know that one rule that would get you to that first step, then it's pretty frustrating. Okay? Now this one, it says write as the sum of logarithms. What does sum always mean? Add. Okay? So how could I write this? This would be log 5 of 8. Is it times? Plus log 5 of 6. Okay, how about the next one? Log Z of X plus log Z of Y. Well, you can't solve them. Well, you could, I guess, sort of. You could solve A, but you can't solve B. Yeah, we're just, it said write them as a sum. That's it. They didn't ask us to solve. Okay, this one wants us to go back the other way. and says now these are, write them as a product. Now, they won't usually say this. They'll say it, write it as a single log. Okay, Lexi, I need you to hand your phone in. Okay, how could you write this as a single log? Log what? 7 times 5 is log 3 of... Well, actually, you don't have to put the bracket there. 35. Okay, how about this one? Log B. SR. Yeah, S times R is SR, right? Sir. Okay. 
Okay. Now, write them as a difference. Difference means subtraction. subtraction. So this would be log 2. Now, which one should go first? Yeah. So whatever would go on top, put it first. Minus log 2 of 11. Is this making sense? It's pretty quiet in here, so you never know if people are confused or they'll actually get it. Okay, so the next one would be log z of x minus log z of y. Division, subtraction. They always go together. I always think that multiplication and addition go together and division, subtraction, right? Division, subtraction are always the crappy ones to deal with, right? Addition, multiplication, they're always nice. They're always nice people, right? Division has like, you know, well if you divide by zero, it doesn't work. It's got all these rules. Okay, so this is just going the opposite. This would be log 3 of 15 divided by 11. This is writing it as a single logarithm. It was two logarithms. There we're writing it as one. And this would be log b of s over r. Okay. The next one, do you see how we have a third level? It says write them in the form n b. Okay. So <coughs> again, is this like, is it hard stuff? No. But if you do not know the rule, these are impossible. Okay? So this will just come to the front to be 3 log 6 of 7. Okay? So this is what I call third level. And third level can move. First and second level cannot. First level, or third level can move to the front. So that would be y log zx, right? And you know what? If you want, you can just always put a little arrow there that it can go. Now, just be really careful, because I want to do just one. Let's do it a C. If I had log x to the 4, is that third level? Can be. What is first level? Yes, there is a 10 there, okay? How do you know there's a 10 there? Because there's nothing there, right? So then this becomes 4 log x. Now, now, is there a 10 there? Yes. You can put it, but what if it's not there? Like, I don't want you guys freaking out going, but it's not third level, it's not third level. There's not three numbers there. And I go, there is three numbers there, right? And it's the same argument. Like when I say, what's square root 4? And you're going, there's no number there. I don't know what to do. It means there's a 2. Okay? So be careful with this one. This is still third. And third moves, right? Because there's invisible. You can even do it like dotted or whatever. I don't know how you're going to show something invisible. But there's, there's an invisible 10 there always. Okay? Now here is the type of question you will be asked. Write these as a single logarithm. Right now, they're not. There's two of them. Okay? So, this would be log 6 of, and then you can just put it in brackets right now. What would that be? Because I don't want to skip a step. 2.108. Okay? I always put a dot for times because I don't want my x's getting mixed up with a time sign. And then 2 times 108 is actually log 6 of 216. Now, the answer to this is actually 3. Do you know why it's 3? Now, this is all you have to do. Just so you know, you're done. Tap out. Okay? You don't have to do any more. But this is log 6 of, guess what 216 is? 6 to the 3, which equals 3 log 6 of 6, which equals 3. Okay? I'm going to write this here. This is extra just because I, gotta I have students that will be able to use this on their diploma to guarantee they don't have any mistakes. And I'm, and I'm not kidding you. The entire, 
all of the questions of the log units can be done five different ways. Sometimes six, sometimes seven. I'm not even like exaggerating. Uh, like a simple question as that can be done five ways, I showed you. I could turn that into a division question even if I wanted to. But the point is, there should be no dumb mistakes in this test because you'll have the time, you'll come back and you'll be able to check it. Okay, how could I rewrite this? This would be log three of eight, 10, divided by 10, which is log three of 81. Now, 81, now again, you're done. Right as a single log. That's all you got to do. But this equals 4. Guess why? Log 3 of 3 to the 4. Now you can put it in your calculator. Log 81 divided by log 3. And you got 4. You're like, yeah, that's cool. I got 4. Move on. Right? But maybe you want to just, hey, is that 3 to 3 to the 4? Oh, it is. I know I got that one right. And that's kind of what I want you always to have. Now, here is where... This, this question here is beyond important. You cannot get this one wrong in the diploma. Okay? Now, you are not allowed to combine logs if there is something in front of the log. Do you see how there's a two in front of both of them? So that's bad. How can I get it out of there? Bring it up to the third, correct? There's imaginary tens there. So I can write this now as log 10. What is 5 squared? 25 plus log 10. What's 2 squared? 4. Is everybody see so what are we going to write there? Get rid of coefficients by moving to third level. Okay. Now, I still haven't done what they asked. They said, make this as a single log. I haven't even done that yet. So how can I do that? Log 10 of 25 times 4, which equals log 10 of 100. Okay, so we've done what they asked us to do, but guess what the answer is? 10 or 2? It's log 10 of 10 to the 2, correct? So this equals 2. Again, this rule that I keep using with you, it's not 30-2, okay? But it doesn't mean you can't use it. So, okay, what's the problem with D now? Got to get rid of this. So I'm actually going to take the time to write it up there instead of skipping a step so I can get to the wrong answer faster. Okay? Now, and you can, you can do the 6 squared, right? So let's just do it. That's log 3. 6 squared is 36 plus log 3. My 36 is getting a bit high there. Okay, you don't want to be bad like me. Make sure your, your 36 should be on level 2 now, right? Okay, then what would I do? Log 3 of, what would I do with these? 36 times 0 0.75. What does that equal? Twenty-seven. This one's just screaming the answer. What is twenty-seven? Okay, so I've done what they want to do. I wrote it as a single logarithm, but that is log three of three to the no, 3, which equals 3. OK, 
Okay? Didn't teach anything new today, did I? So that's good. Um, so there's page 179 to 181 plus. There's in your book, there's 7.3 extra practice. So you should be able to cruise on these, like seriously, like under five seconds a question. Use your rules, get good at them. Have you put all the rules now on your study sheet? Right? It should be on your study sheet. The third level rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule. And you cannot have coefficients in the front, can you? Okay, is that on your study sheet? Do not have coefficients in the front. I'm going to see how many people are going to catch on the quiz tomorrow that are trying to do it with coefficients in the front. Okay, so I think an achievable goal today would be we all get our work done in class and we have time to get back our unit tests. So again, we want to work nice and quiet for those that need the quiet. Yeah, did you get it back today? <laughs> 